Hello and welcome to Secure Code Warrior. In this module, we'll be looking at XQuery injection. We'll explain what XQuery injection is, its causes and preventions, and some potential hazards. So, what is XQuery injection? XQuery injection is similar to SQL injection, but instead takes place when unsafe user supplied input is used to query XML data, resulting in execution of the input. This type of attack is called XPath injection. What causes XQuery injection? If user input is not properly sanitized before being used in the XPath query, the user can manipulate the search. To understand XQuery injection vulnerabilities, let's look at some examples. In the first example, a website uses an XML-based database for storing user credentials and performing authentication. The login request results in an XPath query that verifies the provided credentials and retrieves the account privileges. An attacker manipulates the query in an attempt to perform XPath injection and circumvent the authentication mechanism. The injected XML is processed and results in the attacker being logged in as admin. In our next example, a website's user base is contained in an XML document and can be searched by entering a username. An attacker injects some XML code to try to modify the query. The injected code modifies the query and causes it to be valid for every user in the XML file. As a result of the query, the attacker receives a list of all user nodes contained in the document. XQuery injection vulnerabilities can have significant impact. An attacker could log in as another user to access data that should not be accessible or they could elevate their privileges. They could even retrieve the entire XML document resulting in compromised data. And a manipulated query could result in data modification or deletion. To prevent XQuery injection vulnerabilities, developers should never trust user input. Always sanitize user input through filtering or apply whitelist input validation using existing libraries for each framework. Also, use a parameterized XPath interface, otherwise escape the following symbols. And finally, apply least privilege, such as using a read-only user to perform queries. Congratulations, you have now completed this module, XQuery Injection.